Hello and welcome to a very different area of this room. Now, this is a very different video. I'm filming this on the 2nd of March. You're watching it on the 27th of March or later 2023. The reason for this is this is Callum's birthday present. As you can tell from the title, it is a mystery box about between four and five hundred dollars. I've worked very hard on this and I'm about to show you the making of it. So you will see some of him opening it as well. I am going to film bits. Um because I want it to be seen the reaction to what he thinks of what I got. But anyway, let's start. I've took a little wrap out. We're gonna start. We're we'll starting with this. This is a Dialga plush. Um, I got this from Pokemon Store, um, the UK Pokemon Centre. Absolutely really cute, nice size, not too big. He's wanting to do some trips on trials in his office soon, so it'll be nice to put some bits on display like I have my Eevee ones. Then we go on to this one, which is the Shinx. Um, again, Pokemon Store. A lot of this stuff is based around the Diamond and Pearl era, Gen 4. This was when Callum loved Pokemon most when he was younger. This is Best Memories. He got the Diamond and Pearl remaster last year for his birthday off his sister. Um, he loved Starbirth last year because it was very Gen 4 based. I bought that for his birthday last year as well, his booster box. So we're going to be basing it very much around that area um, for this and his favourite Pokemon which are Luxray, Infernape and Dialga. Um, also I got these sleeves for all the cards I've brought. So each of them are going to be in this. Some of them aren't yet because I need to transfer them. But these are these and then he actually has spare ones of them as well. Like It's a full pack to put pulls in from the packs I've got him as well because I've got him bits of everything. Moving on to the next one, I got him some pyjamas. Right, this is really random considering everything else in this set, but he had the Pokemon pyjamas and when I was pregnant last year I nicked them because I basically found them more comfy than my pyjamas. So I thought I'd better replace them. It's only fair, so he's got Pikachu and Yamba. Um, Yamba, I kind of speak. I'm only trying. But yeah, he's got new pyjamas because of it. Um, again, Pokemon Center, they do a really good quality as well, by the way. I'm going to link everything down below. I'm not going to put the price on screen because Calum does know the base price of this whole thing and he'll know, like, looking at stuff, the price is. But I don't want to literally show every single price because he will watch this video. I know Callum. He'll watch the video, he'll see how I made it all and I don't want to put all the prices up and him know everything bit by bit. Like, yeah, I know he could go research it. But it's just something I personally don't want to do because he's not too happy I spend this much money anyway. I don't want him knowing how much everything's cost, cost exactly. Let's put it that way. Because it'll be that's too much. He doesn't understand he deserves it. He won't accept he deserves it anyway. So then I went to Forgotten Worlds um, and got this. So we've got the Sinnoh tin and this is the Jim Chow one, obviously. Can't remember what cards are in this. I will let you know when he opens this. I'll try to get a bit of a video of him opening this, but I can't remember what cards are in here. But there will be an update near the end of the video about what is in this. Moving on then, I'll go on to the cards I got him. So, like I say, I've done everything based around his favourite Pokemon. So he has some Dialga cards first. So we have the Dialga EX. I can't remember set straight off my head right now. Like, my brain is late. I'm filming late because he's in bed. He can't hear this. It's the safest time to film, uh, meaning my brain isn't <laughs> working great right now. Um, got the Dialga GX, and I apologise if the light is shocking, but I have to have a ring light on this corner of the room because it's dark. We have the Dialga level 68, and then that's one of the promos, and then I have the Japanese one of one you just saw from Platinum. Yeah, so I've got them. These are actually... Mostly, that one's Forgotten Worlds, but most of these are from Poke Chloe or Poke Dean and whatnot when they did their, they do auctions twice a week on there and I tend to get a lot of them on there. Um, I need to top load this one actually in a bit, so I'll leave that to one side before I forget. But yeah, um, basically they do that on there every week. So I'm trying, I try and go in there every week to get a few cards, get myself some Eevees, I've been getting cow on these. He stops up getting calm them now because I'm going to wrap these in the next few days and I don't have to want to unwrap and rewrap anything. Um, next we have the Infernape set. So I got a Monferno. I like this one. He then has a Reverse Hollow Infernape. These, most of these are quite modern, I'm not going to lie. Um, and then we have another Infernape. 
I love the artwork on that one actually, I'm not gonna lie. And the hollow is really nice on it. It's not really obvious hollow, it's quite subtle that one. Next we have the luxury one. Now the luxury one is a thick one in comparison, but I had a lot to get on this one because I've got three to go by. And it's in a lot more sets than you to get because a lot of people keep the Infernape and the Chimchars and the Monfernos because of them being a starter from Gen 4. I don't find it with the luxuries. Luxuries tend to be out a lot more often to get hold of and they're not as expensive. Hence why there's more of them. So we got one Shinx, two Shinx, three Shinx, which, sorry, but that is cute. We got a Luxio, which this Luxio I am really liking. It's from Rebel Clash, actually, this. I really like that one. <laughs> we have a Luxray. We have two more Luxrays, but these two are actually the same. Um, and when I was buying these, there was two, one near mint, one mint. I was like, well, I'll get both just in case. He can decide which one's better, if he wants to grade it or whatever, but he's got two there and he can decide. Um, but yeah, I like these ones a lot. I can't what it's called, the um, style on the hollow. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera very well, if you see. It's like the shatter style and then finally we have from the 25th anniversary japanese 25th anniversary look tray which i do like this and this one i did get off poke chloe last minute like last week honestly life save when i want to go on her streams i just live on there you'll notice i go on whatnot a lot i mention a lot in videos and a lot of my bits in my background as well i get through whatnot honestly i love it on there i use it a lot more now than anything else to get cards as well as going to the bottom world it's the two easiest ways for me to get them at a good price and I'm giving back to other collectors a lot of the time or to small stores so I'd rather do that than go and just buy from the big bigger places um moving on then we have another set and this set actually is diamond and pearl so I couldn't buy a basic pack way too expensive not a chance so instead I got some cards from it and of course I got his favorites so we've got the chimcha in hollow which is really nice i'm gonna get the reverse hollow of the monferno um and then i got the infernape as well which is infernape is insane like i love that card and then got the shinx i managed to get right this i got a poke chloe and i'm so happy i want this auction like so happy this is a luxio from diamond and pearl but if you see here it says pre-release so it's a pre-release card i couldn't be happier to get this because it's just a bit different than just buying him a typical card and then i managed to get also the luxury from diamond and pearl as well and then i got the dialga level x from diamond and pearl none of these are in the best condition i'm not gonna lie like i'm not gonna lie that looks yo is probably the best condition of the lot but it's all cards they're not new, it's Gen 4, we're going with Gen 9. They're not going to be the best condition cards. Next up though, we do have Callum's Team in Pokemon Go, Team Instinct. So I'm the same actually, but I decided to get him the Team Instinct box from Pokemon Go. So there's some packs for him to open, so he's got his own catered packs. He's got some Pokemon Go. I'm going to see if he can have better luck than I have on it, because I just can't. I'm just not great at Pokemon Go. And I need him to pull me the Sylveon. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed. <laughs> we get it next up we have the Dialga V-Star box I got this up over Chloe as well it was better price than anywhere else everywhere else I looked it was just £30 upwards it was like £27, £28 I'll say that one openly now because I'm really impressed about that price I'll tell Callum that price face to face um, in this you get two Lost Origin and three Chilling Rain and the two promos at the front as well as a pin V-Star counter and your Jumbo card See, I think these promos are gorgeous. Like, I was going to buy these, but, these, but obviously I didn't need to because I got the box. And then finally, the last thing, which is the top thing I got him, a Lost Origin booster box. Now, this seems a bit wild when his has been Diamond and Pearl based. However, this is his favourite set of last year. Just including Starbirth, that's Japanese. This is his favourite modern set in English. This is because he wants the Giratina, I think. I think it's more he wants the Giratina. But he seems to love opening this. We open it so often. He loves it. We've got so much of it. I've got so much of it everywhere, actually. We have nearly completed this set, bar all the big pulls. Hence this. We're going to buy a binder soon and we're doing that. I think he knows he's getting this. I think he's guessed it. But I can't wait to see what's in here. I'm hoping 
the Garotina in it. The reason I own po I owe Poke Chloe big time because that's where I got this from, Collective Card House. So Poke Chloe and Poke Dean. If there was a Garotina in here, I'll be so happy. And honestly, it will make my husband's day on his birthday. But this is like the main present. He I got him Bruce Box last year, Starbird. He got me an Eevee Heroes for my birthday. So I want this one and see how we can do and if we can get some of the bigger one bigger cards. And I think he'll definitely have plenty of packs to open with this. The day I'll get and the Pokemon Go box. So can you stick around? I'm gonna get this all wrapped and then well I'll be back with you and I will show you some of the mystery box stuff we're doing with this. So it's not just gonna be a case of his box open it, he's gonna have to work. He's not getting it that easily. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you. So this is currently the twenty third of March and obviously last I can't remember what the last day it was, but it's four days to Tom's birthday. So I've wrapped everything. And we're going to show you everything how it's looking before he opens it. So these are our envelopes. Each one needs to be a different gift. They have an order. First one is the spare sleeves. And each one has one it correlates to. And each one has got a different design on them. So like this one is the Lost Origin symbol, which is his Lost Origin booster box. Um, we have a Dialga silhouette. I did hand draw all these. That's the Dialga plush. We have the Shinx plush. Then we have his Monferno deck. It's fire energy. The electric one was his Luxrays. The Alga deck. This one is his Diamond and Pearl cards. Quite a thick one though also. Then under that layer we have the Pikachu pajama pants. We have oh stretching the Chimcha Sinnoh tin. And then I'm not gonna let them out because they're big. We have his Pokemon Go collection box with Team Sticker and a the alga box and there's glue for that i'll tell you in a minute but it's got diamond on it let's bring that further in a minute i'm just gonna pop these in there a minute and just get the clues because i don't want to get them out of envelopes where did i put the sheet though that's a five three because i hit them from calm so he doesn't know where they are So his first one is an image of a Pokemon everyone knows, also Aoife's nickname. Aoife's nickname is Aoife Chew, hence Pikachu. Go on to the next one is your favourite Gen 4 starter. His favourite Gen 4 starter is Chimchar, which then is his Chimchar tin. We have an electric cat slash kitten, um, which is the Shinx. Um, I'm going to put this layer back in just to be safe and so I can start putting them back in as I go. You know what's under there, I'll explain it. I don't need to be able to see it to tell you. Then he has a Team Instinct, which is actually the clue I think is more now. If, um, look for your Pokemon Go team. Um, a Steel slash Dragon type, which is the Elder, his favourite. Then we have a super, this is the type is super effective against fairy, ice and rock, but weak to fighting fire and ground. Which is, if I can remember this, because I put this together a bit ago and I can't remember what is what anymore. My brain has stopped working. One, two, three, four, five, six. My numbers don't correlate correctly. Four, five. Apparently I changed this to a different place because it's not number six anymore. Oh, that's it. So we've got this for number six. Sorry, I can just mix up on my sheets. 
Then we have super effective against flying and water, wheat to ground, grass and dragon types. By the way, you can have a guess at these before I tell you them. I'm giving you a minute because I'm trying to find where I put stuff right now. So if you want to have a guess in the comments, each of the questions is, go for it. See if you can guess them. And go for number seven. Yep, so number seven. Did you get it right? Let me know. And lastly, um, let me just double check. Yep, I have these in the right order. Super effective against bugs, steel, grass, and ice types, but weak to rock, water, and dragon types. So I'm going to have a few two seconds, I'll just grab it. Um, let me know in the comments if you can guess it. Three, two, one. So that says Chin Chardock. And after this, we have number nine which is the algo is a mascot for this part so half of a game this is actually his favorite game the diamond and that is for his dialga box i don't want to put the dialga on two things i've not drawn dialga twice in different ways it's hard to hint something when it's the same picture um number 10 is your favorite era um dialga and palkia are some of the mascots for this way this is when i really hope he knows the symbol for the diamond and pearl set so this is the set symbol. I'm hoping he knows it. He might do, he might not. It's that way, I think. So this, I've not done it very straight. Oh, you can tell it's the set symbol, and that is his diamond and pearl deck that I made up for him. And then finally, we have your favourite modern set. And as a side note, can you pull the alt art? This is of course his loss booster the one i'm most proud of and i can't wait for him to open and pray it is in there and if it is i owe pokey chloe and pokey dean big time for that and that could be the next mystery box creation <laughs> let's put it that way the hit then or randolph don't know which one but i do want to make some more so suggestions quite like them so i do want to make some more up and then like i say these are just questions each of these has a piece of card in them the question and on the back of each one is a tiny little thing for what the answer is so he can find it and i don't have to remember bring that lot down with me and that is open last so he doesn't open it first and then his first one he sleeves and has a little note saying you'll need these for drawing this just so many packs to open so this is all ready for him and pop the bubble wrap back on the top and i'm actually going to also pop his bucky card in the top now so i'll spot in that um, but wrap and paper, by the way, I've got loads of it. Which, from eBay, I'll try to list it. Um, yeah, I've got it off eBay for him. I uh, want to get our Pokemon team. I've got the box, but it's massive. The cards in Pokemon, it is very soppy. Nice, like, little husband card. So it's our first birthday married. Um, it's the first one we've come across while we've been married. So, let's get him a husband card. This is actually my old work well, work PC box um, with my monitor, which they didn't want back. So, did me all the good. But anyway, oh, I'll lift them out. Can't think I don't need this out. But, yep. That is this ready to go for Monday morning. I'm so excited to see his face. He has, he does think have an idea about the Lost Origin box. But that's it. That's the only thing he has any idea about. He just knows he's getting a mystery box of Pokemon. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. And I can't wait to see his face. And I will be filming it. And filming some of the opening. And I'll show you some of the cards we pull at the end. So I'll see you in four days time. For you guys. Two seconds. See you next. So whilst editing this. I noticed the reaction would make it over half an hour long. And... I don't really think anyone wants to be sat watching this for that long. So I decided I'm going to pop the reactions in a video um, tomorrow. So keep an eye out for it. And I'll see you tomorrow for that one. And I'll show you all the pulls. Thanks. Bye.